You may have heard of the expression that everything is relative. Well, when it comes to measuring velocity, everything is relative. In each relative point of view, we call a reference frame. For example, we have three cars moving down a road. From the reference frame of someone standing by the side of the road, they would see the yellow car traveling at 25 miles per hour, the blue car traveling at 20 miles per hour, and the orange car traveling at 30 miles per hour. Now, to view the world from the blue car's reference frame, we need to speed up to its velocity of 20 miles per hour, which means everything appears to be moving slower by 20 miles per hour. So we need to subtract 20 miles per hour from each car's velocity, showing us that the blue car is now still, and the yellow car is traveling at 5 miles per hour, and the orange car is traveling at 10 miles per hour. To shift to the yellow car's reference frame, we need to speed up some more by 5 miles per hour, which means we need to subtract the velocities by 5 miles per hour, showing that the blue car's velocity is negative, which means it's moving away from the yellow car at 5 miles per hour, and the orange car is gaining on the yellow car at a rate of 5 miles per hour. To shift to the orange car's reference frame, we need to speed up another 5 miles per hour. The yellow car and the blue car both now have negative velocities, which means both cars are moving in a backwards direction relative to the orange car. As you can see, from our reference frame, we all think that we're the center of the universe, just as we once believed everything revolved around the Earth. However, we all know now that from the reference frame of the Sun, we're all traveling in an orbit faster than 66,000 miles per hour.